If you clicked on this video, you probably grew up watching Pixar films. A fun fact that you guys might not remember is that Pixar actually used to be its own independent animation studio. It was founded in 1986, but was acquired by Disney in 2006. Me personally, being born in 2003, I literally do not remember a time where Pixar was not Disney. Anyways, I thought it could be fun to decorate dorm rooms, but every room is a different Pixar film. In The Sims 4, obviously. Welcome, welcome everyone to Pixar University. The other day I posted on my Instagram story and ask you guys to name your top three Pixar films. Um, by the way, if you want to help with future videos, the link to my Instagram is in the description below or it's just RyoSM on Instagram. I took that information and compiled a list. We're going to be doing six Pixar films today and who else is going to help us decide which one to start with other than our wheel of names. Now thinking about it now, I could have gone in order, but everything's just more fun with the wheel. And we're starting with Finding Nemo. Me personally, this might be a controversial take. I didn't love Finding Nemo. I know. I'm so sorry. It's just my opinion. There are just better Pixar films in my opinion. But before I make anyone too mad, let's just get started on this room. Let's start in our little left corner here. Now I'm thinking instead of going for like a hyper realistic Nemo room, I was thinking more of like a little kid's bedroom inspired by Nemo. And I do really like this vibe. I don't know if this is an actual hotel or if it's just like a concept art, but I like the vibes of this. And I think we're gonna take inspiration from both these pictures. Let's get started. First, obviously we gotta start with some wallpaper and we're gonna have to go with a blue. Now we do have this water wall. I do think it's a little bit on the nose though. I was thinking we could do like an accent wall of this like blue and orange, or we could just do the whole room blue. There's a fish wallpaper. I feel like we have to go with it for blue flooring. The picture of that like hotel that we're taking as inspiration has these like really cool blue carpets. And I feel like we should do something like that. Oh, that's actually kind of similar. Yeah, maybe we'll go with that. For windows, I kind of want to go for like, you know how like boats have those like round windows? Kind of like this. Yeah, wait, that's actually perfect. Let's try to find a blue bed. I don't think we have any beds that have fish on them or any that give off fishy vibes, but you never know. This one's not fishy, but it is a contestant. It is like supposed to be the sky, I'm pretty sure. This one could also be a contestant. I think I'm gonna go with these sky colored looking beds. And then I do wanna bring in some of that orange, orange chairs and such. Maybe we could use something like this. I do wanna also add like greens and more oceany stuff as well. This is just a little bit of a trust the process moment, okay? What do we have for fish if I search? Obviously, we have fish tanks. I might have to use this fish chair somewhere because like that's literally Nemo. The fish light. Oh, well, that has to go in here. I want to add these as well. Maybe for now, we'll just throw it in this corner. We could add something like this. I want to add a fish tank as a reference to the dentist office, you know, where the girl and she's like, Fishy! maybe we'll add it like this. So it's a little bit more like they have a pet fish because having something like this is a bit extreme. We should add a little hangout area. I think could be pretty cool. Maybe we add a dresser under the TV just so that we have a dresser somewhere. I think I would like an orange or a blue one. One. Maybe tie in some more of that orange with this dresser here. And I'm just gonna add a regular old TV. Let's add two little like beanbag chairs. Oh, actually, you know what? We're gonna add these chairs. Imagine like two teen boys live here. Tell me that that's not something that they would have. Let's give them a little coffee table. I'm thinking I wanna bring in some of that lime green. That looks interesting. I could throw a desk here. That one works. And we could get a green chair to bring in some more of that green. Ooh, I feel like having the streamer set up is very, I don't know, well, this is giving like teenage boy rather than Nemo, but I don't know. I guess that's the vibe we're going for. Well, with a little bit too much clutter, probably. Here is our Finding Nemo room all complete. I love how it turned out. It's definitely messy, but I don't know. I kind of like the vibes of it. Also, is it a bit morbid that Nemo is up on the wall? Um, Yes, maybe. Do I want to elaborate? No, there's also a fishing rod on the wall. So, I mean, the person that lives here loves Nemo and they love fishing. Let's move on to our next room. This dorm's a little bit larger, so I'm hoping we get a good one. Let's do a bit of a shuffle and let's spin. Toy Story. I feel like Toy Story is the movie that people think of when they think of Pixar. If that's not for you, let me know in the comments what movie you think of when you hear Pixar. So for me personally, I know there's multiple movies, so I'm sure his room changes, but I remember him having cloud wallpaper. Now, what the heck is this? What the heck is this star wallpaper? Uh-uh. 
what's that? Who's, whose room is this? This room I think is when he's a little bit older, but he has the star wallpaper. So is that like a Mandela effect that I remember him having this like cloud wallpaper? Nonetheless, let's get started. I think to compromise for the wallpaper, because I don't know if I'm having a Mandela effect or if he never had clouded wallpaper. I have two options or I guess ideas. Idea number one is that we do this basic pastels wall and we use stickers like this and like this to create our own wallpaper and do like a combination type thing or we use this wallpaper. I feel like I kind of want to go for this one and make it our own. It's going to take me a second though so let me be right back. I think I'm only going to do the one wall for now. For the floors Andy just has like a basic brown floor like so. I think I'm going to continue our little cloud wall over here because I think I'm going to put the bed here. I also realized that we need to put windows on this wall. That's going to be interesting. His bed is space theme. I know that we have a space themed bed. I just don't know if it comes in blue. This one could be a contestant. It's not space, but it's fire hydrants. I just kind of like the way it looks, if I'm being honest. Oh, this one could be good too. Some sort of like action figure of some sort on the bed. So this is the space one. It's not really giving Andy to me or even the color of the room really. I think I'm gonna go for this one here with the action figure on it. I'm not seeing if Andy has any bedside tables, but we have so much room over here that we might as well. Something like this and probably some windows. I'm assuming Andy would have some pretty basic suburban windows in his room. Oh, this is gonna ruin our wall though. Okay, I'm just gonna continue it on these three walls and then the rest we'll just cover in other posters because I kind of wanna do a combination of all of his bedrooms. Now, weirdly enough, Andy has a dartboard in his room and we do have that in The Sims 4, so I'm gonna add that. Let's grab him a little dresser. He has this like literally that one. That's literally what he has. He has like a tiny white dresser. We obviously need toys. That's for sure. I don't remember if he has a toy chest. I feel like he does. He does. It kind of looks round at the top is what I'm seeing. Kind of like this one. I do also want to give him shelves because he has some shelves that have a bunch of toys on it. They kind of look like this. He does have a desk, which I don't know where I'm going to put. I'm thinking here, like in between the dartboard and the toy area. His desk is pretty basic looking. It's nothing too fancy. It just looks like a plain wood desk from what I can see. I feel like this one would work good. And once again, just a basic chair. I'm gonna do a little yellow one, bring in some more primary colors. He also has this like blue rug that's in the middle of his floor. I do want to give him this cloud one, but I do also want to find a rug that's similar to that one. Of course, we don't have one like that because why would we? I mean, this one could work. I feel like this mat actually is a little bit more accurate to the one that he has. And then I fully intend on covering up this line here because I don't like it there. So I feel like Andy would have a Blarfy. So I'm going to give him a Blarfy. Oh, should we give him the pink Blarfy? Yeah, we'll do the pink bear just to just to reference Lotso. I feel like the block table would also make sense. As for his little shelves here, I do want to decorate them up with action figures. And I also just want to like scatter some toys around the room. I want it to be hazardous to walk around in this room. Over in this area, like on these two walls or three, I guess, I feel like we should add some posters. He also does have a TV in his room. He has like a little one that's just like on the floor. It literally looks like that. I mean, that works. Back to the posters. I started talking about them and then I got sidetracked. And with some finishing touches, here is our Toy Story bedroom all complete. I really like how it turned out. I think it's definitely giving the vibe of Andy's room. And that's really all I have to say about it. I think it looks good. Let's move on to our next room. Who is it gonna be for? Monsters, Inc. Monsters, Inc. is one of my favorite Pixar movies, and it's actually my boyfriend's favorite Pixar movie, I think. Now, I'm not entirely sure what I want to do for this room. We could recreate Boo's room, or we could recreate Mike and Sully's dorm room from Monsters University. I feel like Boo's room is a little bit more iconic. I almost wish that we could do two rooms. Hmm. What if I split the room in two and had one one side be Mike and Sully's dorm room and the other side be Boo's room. Let's first work on Mike and Sully's side of the room. So the wallpaper in both 
looks really plain, which I'm fine with sticking to. We can add some color when it comes to their beds maybe instead. However, for Boo's room specifically, I want to do a pretty white door. Hopefully we can find one that's similar to hers. I think the winner is this one on the left. The walls are beige. Like they are just, they're just a a white wall, kind of like grunge it up a little bit and some dark brown floors. Let's give them a window though. So they're not in like complete darkness. So that would be a bit sad. Should I give them a bunk bed is the question. I feel like the answer is yes, because they had bunk beds in their dorm room. I wish we had like two wide bunk beds. I don't want to do a double bed on the bottom. I mean, I kind of do though, cause it would make more sense for Sully because Sully is just so large that it would make more sense. Cause what if we did ignore the sheep. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just spacing it out. Ooh, ooh, that one's kind of ugly though. I kind of like the idea of something like this because it would make more sense for Mike to have like a small bed at the top and for Sully to have a bed, a bed at the bottom. And I did like the blue and the green because, you know, obviously I kind of like it. This room's going to be cramped for sure, but that's okay. Let's throw a desk over beside the bunk bed. I'm going to do this green one here and maybe we'll do like a lime green chair. Kind of want to add like a workout area or like a punching bag or something to signify as like Sully's things. Do you know what I'm saying? I kind of like this one better. It looks a little bit more like cartoony. We definitely need a dresser of some sort for the boys. For the boys. Oh, this one with the little green backpack and the blue shoes. That's perfect. Let's add a mirror in here. Let's get some like school posters on the wall though. We need to add the calendar as a reference to Mikey's calendar. Oh my God, that's literally Sully. <laughs> We have to add this somewhere. I feel like it just, it's too perfect. Actually, maybe, should we save it for Boo's room? Let's save it for Boo's room. We'll put it in here just so I for, don't forget. And without making the room too cluttered, here is our Mike and Sully side of the room. Now let's move on to the side that we're all waiting for, which is Boo's room. This concept picture, chef's kiss. Love everything about it. Boo's wallpaper is like pink stripes. She's got a cute little pink bed. She's got a little shelf above her bed, a little rocking chair, obviously the Pixar ball, which we don't have. She's got this little like windowsill situation, which I might try to attempt. We'll see, we'll see. Let's just get started, I'm excited. I think I am gonna try to attempt the windowsill part. I could just use one that the game provides. The game does have some windows that are like that, where they are like a little windowsill seat. Let's just do this one. For her wallpaper, we definitely need to go with something pink, kind of like this. Oh, she does have paneling on this wall though. And her floor is like a brown wood, which honestly like kind of a strange choice in my opinion, since everything else, like even the paneling on the walls is white. It kind of looks like that. Mm, it looks a little bit more polished than that actually. Oh, actually this one works perfect. Yeah, it's a little orangey. Now I feel like we could get away with giving her like a toddler bed because Boo, I think is toddler age. She doesn't speak. So like, I would assume she's a toddler. We could do this one, which I think I might end up going with. We could also give her a toddler bed, but I think I might just go with the single. Let's get her a little table. She has like a little dining table, I guess, where she has like a little tea set up. That one could work. This one's a little nicer, I think. And then she has some like almost stool-like chairs like this. We could just do these chairs, but the chairs kind of look more like this. So maybe I'll do these ones instead. Do we have a tea set? We do. She has a little light blue carpet on the ground. Over her bed, she has a little shelf with a couple of books and stuff on it. I feel like this one's perfect. Look how stinking cute that is. She also has a little rocking chair in this corner. We could do this chair as an alternative. I do have a rocking chair. I just don't know if I want to use it. I mean, might as well. She also has a bunch of like kids artwork on her wall, which I feel like I might have to look in debug to find like actual kids artwork, you know, like the kind that your Sims kids bring home. I did find this artwork and this artwork in debug. So I'm pretty happy with that. I do want to grab some curtains for Boo's little window over here. These are perfect. They kind of cover up our artwork a little bit, but I guess I could live with it. Over here, we could add a dresser. I'm going to give her this little like cherry blossom dresser because I just absolutely love it. And before I forget, I do want to give her a toy chest as well. Some little books. Ooh, a dollhouse would be cute too. One thing about dollhouses in The Sims 4 is that you can size them down basically as much as you like because The Sims don't actually play in the dollhouse. They play 
outside of the dollhouse. Just a little fun fact if you guys didn't know. And this toy chest is perfect. And with a little off-camera cluttering, here is Boo's room all complete. I think it turned out super cute. It's definitely giving the vibes of Boo's room. And with Boo's room all complete, that means we are completely done our Monsters Incorporated rooms. I think they turned out super cute. I think it was a great idea to do both of them together. Anyways, let's move on to our next room. We only got three left. Let's spin up. I haven't watched Up in a very long time, but I know it's a big fan favorite. So obviously we're gonna be taking some inspiration from the Up house or Carl's house. Definitely wanna incorporate the two chairs. This is a amazing little 3D cube that someone has made that we're definitely gonna be using as inspiration. I think the same creator made that one that we used for Boo. So shout out to them. Wouldn't it be cool if we took the colors of the outside of the house. So like the pink, the yellow, the green, and we did each wall a different color. I don't know how that's gonna look, but I really do wanna try it. Okay, I like that a lot. In their living room, they just have like a brown floor. So I am going to follow suit. I do wanna do the two chairs. So I am gonna grab us a big window. They kind of have like a window sill type thing going on, but I think I'm just gonna do a big window. Mm, it is kind of a window sill though. Yeah, it's kind of like this. And and we'll do Carl and Ellie's chair. Carl's chair is like a brown recliner and it looks like it's kind of made of leather. Kind of like so. It's a little bit shorter than this, but we'll keep this one as a maybe. This one could also work for this one. Okay, we have quite a few options. Oh, it's kind of like this. And then Ellie's chair is like this big beige slash yellow chair. It's not exactly right, but I feel like that's close enough. I'll double check to see if we have anything else that's more similar, but I feel like that might be our winner. Ooh, two really good options. I think I'm gonna go with this one though, because it's floral. She also has that little blanket on top of hers. So also I think their chairs are more like right next to each other, like so. Oh, and she has a little poof. I was gonna say, I really wanna add this poof, but I don't know if she got one. I was thinking cute. Cute. Over on the side here, they have a little fireplace. So I think I'm gonna follow suit. I also think I'm gonna throw a bed in the corner here or something. Their fireplace is small and beige. It's kind of like that. And they have little bookshelves on either side. I really hope that someone put that artwork that goes above the fireplace on the gallery. Hopefully we can find a picture that is somewhat similar. I feel like that works. It's a little spooky, but it's it's a picture of a house nonetheless. They have some artwork that goes here. They also have a like an old school record player that has that like funnel thing that comes out of it like this. Over here, they have like a little side table. On it, she has like a stained glass lamp. And it looks like back here, she has like a shelf with some, what is the word I'm looking for here? cups, vases and such. I don't know if that's the right word for it. Okay, I cluttered up the shelves over here and I wanna add some more clutter and such. All right, I cluttered up this area over here entirely. I even found these pictures on the gallery, which tell me that doesn't look like Carl and Ellie, but we probably should get a bed of some sort. I'm also gonna add this carpet. Let's throw a bed in this corner. I'm thinking the one from Cottage Living. Yeah, that one, I feel like it's perfect. Not entirely sure what else to add in this room. We could add some balloons. Maybe just some more artwork could be cool. Let's also get a dog bed for, oh my God, what is the dog's name? Hey Google, what's the dog's name from Up? Doug. According to Wikipedia. Okay, thank you, Google. Way, Please stop. A giant Please stop. Of... Anyways, his name is Doug. Let's give him a little... Oh, that's so cute. We'll give him a little bed right in front of the fireplace here. And we'll give him a little food bowl as well. <gasps> that looks like the Pixar ball. I didn't even know we had that. And I think we might be done with the up room. I think it turned out super stinking cute. I love these little shelves in this fireplace. I absolutely adore the little seats here. They're so stinking cute. Definitely one of my favorite rooms so far. Let's move on to our second to last room. This room is going to decide this room and the last room. So this is gonna be our last spin. So who's it gonna be first? Cars, which leaves the Incredibles for last. Here is my inspiration for 
of the car's room. I mean, this is definitely a dream bedroom for some little, little guy out there. I think it's cute. Let's get to work. Before anything though, we know what bed we're putting down. We have a car bed. Unfortunately, it is a bed for a toddler, so it's quite small. That's okay though. We could do, we could do two car beds. For the wallpaper, I definitely want to go for red. I do like the idea of the checkered wallpaper though. Hmm. Yeah, maybe just to start us off, we'll do the red wallpaper. That's not a bad idea for the accent wall. We could do checkered floors. I wish this came in a black and white. That would be so perfect. Okay, I feel like we're getting somewhere here. What windows do I wanna do? Probably something like industrial looking. Yeah, maybe just something like that. Definitely gonna need all the car toys. I got this artwork off the gallery to use as some car artwork since we don't have any cars, but I actually really like this wallpaper as an accent wall. Yeah, that works perfect actually. What we do need to add though is some lightning, like so perfect. Since this is a little boy's room, I wanna keep it relatively simple, I guess. I don't really know what to add though. Some little red carpets next to our beds. We could get both of them a little bedside table. I feel like we have a car toy box. A bus I, is technically a car. Little bookshelf maybe. I could put one of these in here. This lamp's pretty cool. Maybe we could do a little chair. I'm just gonna scatter these cars. So let's get on some little like bedside table lamps. Like these lamps are appropriate. We could put some ribbons on the wall. Maybe something like this. Cause it kind of looks like radiator spring. I realize that we're probably not gonna have a lot of car stuff in The Sims 4 seeing as we don't actually have functioning cars. Other than of course the odd like car toy and such. Just adding some of these pictures around the room to fill up some space. I guess we should get like a dresser somewhere too. I guess that's something to fill up space. We get that works. Honestly, not really sure what else to add at this point. So I think I'm going to call it here, but here is our cars room all complete. I think it looks cute. I think we captured the vibe of the room that we were trying to go for, you know, without having that much car stuff in The Sims 4. I feel like we did a pretty good job. Moving on to our last and final room, which is going to be for The Incredibles. The Incredibles is probably my favorite favorite on this list? Maybe Monsters, Inc. I don't know. I haven't watched a lot of these movies in a long time. So The Incredibles is kind of an interesting one because I don't know whether or not to like try to mimic their house. This is from Incredibles 2, but I kind of want to do like a retro like superhero room instead, kind of like this one here. Even something like this where it's giving like, do you know like that like space age retro aesthetic? I kind of want to do something like that. Let's get started. For wallpaper, I kind of want to go for red. I'm not opposed to white though. Maybe like a red accent wall or something. This one could work. It is kind of the incredible colors, but I feel like it's just not quite there. This one also could work again, but I don't really want to use the same wallpaper twice and especially twice in a row. I kind of like the idea of using this like stone for the rest of the wall. Okay. And maybe some black wood floors. I need like a futuristic looking bed. This one could work. Let's see if we can get some Incredibles art to tie in this room. Ooh, I like this poster. Definitely gonna save that for, oh, hey, there's some Monster Inc. posters over here. <laughs> okay, I like this art. Some more art here and here. Let's get some modern looking bedside tables. Ooh, I actually like these ones. Do I want a fireplace? I kind of do. Big TV over top, maybe a bookshelf. Then maybe we could put some sort of like cool modern looking chair in this corner and some sort of funky lamp. I throw these here as like family photos maybe. Let's add a dresser of some sort. We do need some orange and yellow because their logo, ooh, I feel like that brings in some more of those colors. I think I want to put a desk in this corner maybe and use this like really modern one. Oh, is this going to fit? Need a nice computer. Ooh, I like that one. I need some like superhero posters. Fortunately, I think the only like superhero is like this, which I guess could kind of fit in the room. I'll leave it there for now. This could also match the aesthetic of the room. Okay, another hero poster. Yeah, no red superhero though, it seems. I would love to get, a, put a mannequin in here and dress them in a superhero costume. Give me one second. Look at this suit. Tell me that this isn't basically the Incredibles. <laughs> I also added these light strips to give the room a little bit more like cool ambiance and I think it looks really really cool. We do need to add a couple finishing touches like rugs and clutter. I also did add a frame on 
this here. We should get some cool lamps. That kind of works. I also was thinking of changing this accent wall to this wall here. Oh, it's perfect. With a little extra off-camera cluttering. Here is our Incredibles room all complete. I love how this room turned out. I feel like it might be my favorite. Also, let me know what you guys think about this little test tube additive. I thought it was cool. I thought it added a little bit more to just the suit. But with our Incredibles room done, that means that we are completely done our Pixar dorm rooms. I love every single one of these dorm rooms. I think they all turned out so stinking cute. Like I said, I think my favorite is the Incredibles, but please let me know in the comments down below which one was your guys' favorite. If you like this build and you want to download it for yourself, you can find it on the gallery under these hashtags or my gallery ID is just Ryo with Sim. For this build, since I used some pictures off the gallery, you will have to click that little used custom content box when searching for it. I also will upload the individual rooms. So if you want to download those as well, they will be up on the gallery. And if you are still here, thank you so, so much for watching all the way to the end of the video. I appreciate you. If you like this video, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe and do all the YouTube stuff as it really helps out my channel. Maybe even consider watching a another video after this one because that's how the algorithm knows my channel is worth watching. So that would really help me out. Make sure to check out the description for all of my social medias, like my Instagram, my TikTok, and my Twitch. And with all that being said, I will see you guys next time. Bye. Big thank you to my members. You guys are dope and swag and dope and swag. Thank you.